I don't know where you are or what you're doing or what you're going through while you're listening to this voice note. I don't know if you're sitting at home out of a job like 50% of us in the Bahamas. I don't know if you're sitting down in the darkness because your lights are off like the 9,000 people who have recently been disconnected. I don't know. I don't know if you are staring at a eviction notice while you're listening to this voice note. I don't know what's going on with you. But what I do know is that based on the information that is now coming forth about the natural resources of our country, you don't have to be in the situation that you are in. I don't know if you are ready for change. I don't I don't know if you are comfortable with your situation. I I I, I don't know. But what I do know is that you do not have to be in the situation that you are in. Evidence has come forth that our leaders have been lying to us, that our natural resources are worth far more than they have been telling you. Evidence has come forward that the Minister of Environment has been lying to you, telling you that the Ragonite industry is only worth $2.5 million and that it's not renewable so we shouldn't get into it. Evidence has come forth that they have been lying. I don't know why they choose to lie. I, I don't know. I don't know if they just don't care about the Bahamian people. I don't know. But what I do know is that they have been lying to you. Every Bahamian under the sound of my voice, I don't care if you are rich or poor, black or white, if you're in the Bahamas or if you are abroad, it's time to take a stand. Bahamian Evolution is holding a press conference tomorrow. And that is Wednesday, November 4th at 10 a.m. in Rawson Square. We are going to be announcing that a coalition of like-minded groups and people have decided to come together to fight this cause to the very end. That it is time to take the battle to them. That the battle for our natural resources begins. That no lies, no secrets, no victimization, no punishment is going to stop us from getting what is rightfully ours. For far too long, a few greedy people in this country have been benefiting from the rape and pillage of our natural resources while we suffered. They have billions of dollars in bank accounts around the world while we suffer. And while these same people continuously hit us with tax after tax after tax. Now they are taxing our Facebook. Now they are taxing the use of, of our own national symbols as a Bahamian that you have a birthright to. That you have to pay to use your coat of arms. You have to pay to use the symbol of the flag. It is time for change in this country and the change is here. We will be there tomorrow. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. at Rawson Square. We are not looking for the 30,000. We are looking for the 300. We are looking for a few good Bahamians who are ready to stand up. Because that is what it takes. But if you are fed up and if you are tired and you want to stand with us at this major announcement that we are going to make, these major announcements that we are going to make and these revelations that we are going to put out, be there. Stand with us. It's time for change. Change is not coming. Change is here. If you are a responsible Bahamian and you want to see change, share this voice note. Let's empower our people. It's time for a shift because change is not coming. Change is here.